free heat. So I know many guys want to I think of doing uh using a chip this week. The two most popular ones this week are going to be a free hit and a triple captain. Um so I think let's just start with the free hit. Hey, mazizi nini zinaingia kwa mato zangu? Hey. Hey. Yeah, so free hit. These are some of the things pros and cons lazima uko najua. Um if the one thing you need to if you don't have Liverpool or Man City players. Bro, si panic, my bro. Brav. Usi panic. If you don't have any of those two, si panic. Free hit is your friend. This is where we are going to use the free hit. So, my my rule for free hit this week ni kama una au assets completely or maybe you only have one. If you only have one and you or have none, you have to use the free hit because it's it's looking you need to get these points. But the one of the major cons of using a free hit this week is that um Man City wako na double game week E25 but and a fixture in 26. Liverpool have 25 2 and then none in 26. So um Man City assets will still be valuable in game week 26. So you still want them in your squad, right? So if you're going to get a minus 4 to get two more Man City players in, it's still worth it because they will give you um end product in game week 26, right? Um you don't want them to go away because free hit that's how the free hit works. So for those of you who don't know how um the free hit works uh, if i can find it yeah so anyway free hit you basically have it for once you activate it you can't you can't remove it it's activated for the entire game week um then you can remove everyone and put uh, a whole new team in but then once that game week is over your old team comes back so that's the disadvantage if you bring man city players alafu waende na 26 wakona game week poor you do not want to um suffer like that because other people will be gaining the other big disadvantage of playing double game week this week is that there are players who have really good fixtures in this game week that you still miss out on so um, people like the arsenal defense or saka going up against burnley might still give you more points than luton and brentford who have double game weeks especially knowing that uh liverpool play sorry luton play um No, Brentford play Man City and Liverpool and then Luton play Man U and Liverpool I think or Man U and Man City. Uh, 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 who do Luton play? Man U, Luton play Man U and Liverpool and then Brentford play Man City and Liverpool. So having Saka in that game week is still a match uh someone who has a higher projected points than any of those defenders or strikers from those teams. Maybe the only person is Tony, right? That will definitely give points. So something to consider because you still have Saka Arsenal uh, that's not defense and Saka against Burnley Gross and Estupinian playing Sheffield United really good fixture Richarlison going up against Wolves Watkins going up against Fulham Trippier going up against Bournemouth you don't want to not have these people and have a whole team of double game weeks and you have Akina Doty and um Doughty Doughty in <laughs> Africa Doughty um you have Akina Doughty and uh, what's his name and Adebayo and all these people yet Richarlison can score two goals against Wolves on a cheeky so just something to consider um even with one fixture Gabriel Saliba is to Pinyanporo Raya Richarlison Watkins Trippier Gross um Saka can all out score Luton and Brentford uh players um also you don't need to have everyone you don't need to have a whole team of double game weekers eh If you have three of them, bro, si panic, my bro, brav, si panic. You only need Haaland, another Man City player, and two Liverpool players. To be honest, like that's what you need. You see now that Trent is injured, it makes our decisions much easier. That means you really don't have to force a Liverpool defender. You really don't have to force a Liverpool defender. But if you can get Haaland and another Man City player, that attacker that could be De Bruyne or Foden. Alafu you go for Darwin and Jota. I think you're covered. You are good. Also you don't have to play the free hit this week. You can play it in game week 26, you can play it um uh game week 29 which is the week I'm personally targeting because game week 29 as of this moment there are only three confirmed fixtures. Uh the only the teams that are playing are Brentford, Burnley, Tottenham, Fulham, Aston Villa and West Ham. You do not have many of those players. You probably have Watkins and Richarlison and that's it. So if you can keep that I know there'll be more fixtures maybe you'll get to like uh, 10 teams playing because the others are have an FA Cup fixture it's going to affect the others in one or another so 
for me personally, I'd keep that free hit for 29. And then game week 34 is also another potential. There's a black game week and double game week because of FA Cup. And game week 37 is the biggest double game week of the season. So I'm sure by that time we'll have played it and at that time we'll be looking at a bench boost. So yeah, just something worth, worth considering. Um, with that being said, we have a free hit team for you guys. If you guys decide to do a free hit team, this is these are the players that I would go for personally. Um, um, I've not I've not put the other guys like in Asaka, Grosses, Charleston, and Stupinian. I'm just giving the top three of every of all the four teams that are double game weeking. So in goalkeeper, you have Flecken and Kaminski. Those two have really potential. Um, again. And, and Arsenal goalkeeper can concede Nivo. If Flecken gets five points from two games, it's still better than three or two, right? For someone like Raya. Um, Reguillon for Brentford, I would go for Reguillon and Ivan Tony. Those are my two key players for Brentford. For Liverpool, I am thinking Bradley, Diogo Jota, and Darwin. The reason I'm thinking Bradley a lot is because 26, they have a blank. And if you've done all of these things... Um, I mean, okay, if you've made a sub, if it's a free hit, then you can go for Van Dyke. But if you go for Bradley, it allows you to have money to get De Bruyne, Foden, and Haaland in. That is the biggest reason of having Bradley in the free hit. But transferring him in, the advantage is you don't have to think about removing him next. You can bench him and not worry. But for someone like Van Dyke, if you bench him with Diogo Jota, there's a lot of money just sitting on your bench. So that's something I'm thinking about as well. For Luton. Um, obviously, there's Flecken. We said Flecken for Brentford, yeah? So Flecken, Reguilon, and Tony. For Liverpool, Bradley, Diogo Jota, and Darwin. For Luton, Kaminsky, Doughty, and Barkley. But with if you have to go Kaminsky, that means you have to drop one of Adebayo or Barkley, right? Because <laughs> up front then, we can't then have Darwin, Haaland, and, and Adebayo. Tony is a much better threat, a much bigger threat than Adebayo. So personally, if you go with the front three of uh, Tony Darwin and Haaland, then you have to have Barkley in midfield or Doty. And then for Man City, Ford and De Bruyne Haaland, like straightforward. 